So a few weeks ago, we talked about the power of having a amazing website, having a really like streamlined, customizable website and having that be like one of the main pillars of a strong online brand in 2021 and beyond. We talked about brand photos, we talked about content and we talked about having your website. And actually a week or so ago, I had someone reach out to me and they were saying, Hey, listen, like right now I'm taking orders via social media or just random people reaching out to me. And we were like, uh, -uh no, 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 no. So that's why today I wanted to walk you guys through actually how to set up your online store, um, so that you have an easy and customizable like system for you guys to use within your online business, whether you are a product or a service based business. It is extremely important to be sure that we have good systems and just an overall good experience for our clients and customers. So let's go ahead and hop in. Hey, y'all, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about how to build out your online store. Gone are the days of taking random orders and taking stuff all every place, all right, in social media, text messages, people telling you what they want and all this stuff. And that, that, that leaves room for error, okay? And when we're running an online business, a succinct and cohesive online brand and business, it is very important that we come off as professional as we want people to take us as well, okay? So that's why it's so important to build out and create our online store. And that is why today's video is sponsored by Wix. So Wix really is the leader in website creation for a reason, okay? Like not only can you create a super customizable website like we talked about before in the last video, but you can also create your online store within your website. like. <laughs> So before we hop into the back inside of things, I want to talk about why do you need an online store? What's the point? Like, why not just keep taking orders, you know, via text message and social media and wherever else? Why not keep doing that? And why do we actually need to have kind of a sustainable and cohesive place to host our online store? Taking orders and trying to remember everybody's information and being like, where did this person DM me? Like it's, it's too much. And that's really why you need a succinct place to do it. Imagine you being able to have, um, a system where they can just go on and choose the product or service they're wanting to get and purchase it right through your website. Like super, like just amazing. Okay. Instead of it being like, Oh, you know, one offs or, Oh, so-and-so messaged me. Let me go find her text message. Let me go look at this DM on social media. Let me go see where I wrote this down somewhere. But bigger than that too, like quite honestly, it is time consuming. It is time consuming. Why not just have everything in one place? You have your whole store on the back end working, you have everything cohesive and, and looking really like effective and stuff like that for everybody on the outside and like in terms of your clients and your customers and stuff. But on the back end, it's saving you time, it's saving you headache and the less stress possible, okay? Okay. So those are some of the reasons why I believe you personally need an online store of some sort if you're going to be an online business in 2021 and beyond. Okay, so we're gonna walk through the steps to actually create your online store using Wix. First and foremost, you need to set up and create a Wix account. You're gonna sign up with Wix using an email address and then start creating your site, okay? You can choose from the really cool thing is you can choose from 80 fully customizable online store templates and then customize your design using the Wix editor. Um, also, you can also choose from the 500 plus fully customizable Wix templates and then add the Wix store, uh, Wix stores app to have the ability to actually sell online. And I browsed through the templates and I clicked on, I had all open at first and now I just went to fashion and clothing. I'm going to show you guys how to kind of set up a clothing store if that's what you guys have. Uh, but you can see all the other, literally all the other templates they have. They are beautiful. They're extremely professional and I love them, but I decided to go ahead and go with this one because I like the aesthetic. So we're gonna go with this one and then go to edit. Okay, so now it's time to start like customizing what our store is going to look like. And just off the bat with the template, like again, it is extremely professional and it's not, you know, I don't know. I just, I really like the way it looks. So now it's time to customize. I'm just gonna double click on the name at the top, type in my name, Andrea Denise, up here at the top. So that is at the top of the website. I'm then going to, I just hover over so you can see the edit text. You can um, change some different things up there. 
I can change the free shipping just by clicking on that, double clicking and making that change. I'm gonna change the photo to clicking on the photo and then clicking change picture. And so Wix has a lot of different options for photos, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab some professional photos that I personally have on my desktop. And all you have to do is literally drag and drop it um, as it says into the upload media section, just like that. So I'm just grabbing extra photos and going to go ahead and put them into this base. That way, as I'm editing my website, I have them already in um, the site file so that they're easy to grab um, and I can just throw them into, you know, wherever I'm wanting on the site. So that is what I'm doing here, just dragging and dropping um, from my desktop into the, um, the site files. Okay, so some other really cool things about Wix is that you actually have um, media from Wix here. You can use Shutterstock images as well as Unsplash. So if you wanna use stock images on your website and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have a photo that fits that need, they just have it already in here, which just makes it um, so amazing. So again, media from Wix they have, they have Shutterstock in here as well as Unsplash. I'm gonna keep customizing. I'm actually going to change this background right here, change column background. Go to, let me see, image. Which images do we want? Let's look at something we have. Maybe I'll use this. Ooh, I love, I love it. Okay, so let's say the name of our store and how I am customizing this, I literally just double clicked or whenever you click, you can just go to edit text. Either way works. The Andrea, Denise, I don't know. Clothing, <laughs> let's call it that. Okie dokie. Introducing the, let's say, t-shirts that matter. Okay. So I can't really see this, so I'm actually going to decide to customize this so that it can be seen. I'm actually gonna move this over there. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm just going over to the little, the little circles over on the side I'm going to add, and then I'm going to go grab a box and just place it um, right behind my text. That way the text can pop out a little better. And then I chose change design, chose my box, then went to customize design, fill color and opacity, and then shows the color white so that um, it could pop out against the text. I then right clicked on the text, clicked arrange, and then brought it to the front. So we've um, added a little box behind here. We've added, we've changed the text. We've updated the photos. We changed this text up here. We've moved some things around, moved it down. Uh, let's see what else we want to do. Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and change the social links up here at the top with the social bar. I'm gonna just gonna click on set social links. And then I'm just going to, to click on these and then just grab the link from over here. I already have it up. And then I'm just gonna grab it and literally paste it right in there. Control V and done. Not really gonna use Pinterest, not really going to use Facebook on here. So just using Instagram and done. So let's say that I decided I actually did wanna use Facebook. However, I had actually already deleted it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up here to add icons and then I'm going to just hover over which one do I want, okay? So let's just scroll through to see which ones are available. So cool thing is they have really every um, social media platform that you may need. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Instagram, or sorry, Facebook. We're gonna search and see which one comes up that I like. Let's go with this one. Add to gallery, then I'm just gonna click on it again. Then I'm going to add the link to my Facebook over here. Done and done. So now let's go over into, let's go into pages. We're gonna go, let me just look in here really quick. So we're gonna go over into, you can see how these are anchored, which, oh, these are so cool. Um, and this is why I just love the template. So you can see that, for example, if I was to click on shop, it's going to scroll me down to the page because it's anchored to the shop section. If I click on about, it's gonna scroll me down to the page to the about section as well. It's just so cool, they already have all this set up for us. Okay, so let's go to FAQ. 
Okay, so this simply has the FAQs on a totally different page, which works for us. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click here. We're gonna go to manage questions. And then you literally just type in your question here. Um, let's see. Where uh, do you get your clothing from? Our clothing is ah, is made in um is I don't know is <laughs> ethically sourced and made um by women. Uh, let me see by women. Yeah, by women. Um. This helps. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Done. <laughs> Let's say that's the answer. And then, of course, you can see how that question just changed as an example. You guys know your questions way better than I do. So your FAQs are going to go here. That way people are easily able to access whatever they need to access to get the quick questions answered. I'm going to go back up here to pages. I'm going to come over here to contact. And for contact, here are all the, the information that they're gonna need, okay? So let's say um, you wanna change your telephone information. Again, remember, you're just gonna double click or you can click it and go to edit text. Also, the cool thing about this, you can animate anything if you want to. So a bouncing, a gliding, um, a floating, whatever you wanna do. Whatever makes your heart smile. Um, visit our showroom. Of course, all these are customizable for you. So let's see, get in touch. Of course, we have all this information. So let's say, <laughs> customer service. I mean, I'll just say it's email at um, Andrea. Let's say email at email.com. Visit showroom, let's say that's our showroom information, and then, or not showroom, visit our store, or, ooh, 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 influencer, or, Boom, I'm gonna stretch it out and align it. Um, let's say hours of operation. Let's say these are great. Let's say those are just amazing, whatchamacallits. I'm actually gonna delete this part so that I can move these over. Okay, so they're gonna enter their name here, email address, and their message that they're gonna have there. Uh, let's see, everything else down here is good to go. So second step is actually to create your e-commerce brand. So if you're already in business, you already have um, a business name, you're off to a great start, and you can actually create your logo if you want to with the free Wix logo maker. If not, you can actually use the business name generator to get the perfect name for your business, okay? And then you can just choose your business name from there. So number three is you can actually add products to your online store. So once we get our online store to how we want it to be, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go down here and we're gonna click on manage products to actually get our actual products in here and not just these are beautiful photos, but these are not our products. So we're gonna go here to manage products. And that's gonna take you to the back end, which Wix's back end is really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just click on here, click on like product number one, for example, and then you're just gonna go and add image. So I'm gonna take that image out I'm going to add an image here. And I'm actually going to just go grab my image and drop it into here. 
And the really nice thing I like about Wix, it actually like has like a, a library for your photos um, where you can just go and grab them at any time. You can also like, let me see, let me come over here. You can also crop, adjust, create a video out of them, cut out background. There's a lot of things you can do with each individual product, which I really like the aspect to do. So let's go ahead and choose, let's go with this one first. Okay, so let's say this is the set apart, set apart t-shirt. So the price of this is $20. And let's say, Okay, and then for example, we're gonna go and add any extra product information, you would add it here. You would then go into here for the refund, the return and refund policy here. Shipping information, of course, would go there. Uh, let me see, allow customers to personalize this product with custom text field. You can do that if you would like to. Um, so for example, if you wanted to say, you know, their name on the back, they can definitely do that. Uh, you can check mandatory or not. It has everything that you need, literally. It has everything you need to run a successful online store. Um, so let's see, what are some other things we can do? Um, let's go through inventory and shipping. So track inventory, you can totally do that. Um, let's just say it's in stock. Our SKU is gonna be 0001. Um, let's see, subscriptions. No, it's not gonna be a subscription. It's just a one-time order. Um, and the sizes here are small, medium, large, let's say. Yeah, let, let's do that. And then maybe extra large, we have that as well. Boom, apply. And then let's say we go over here to color. We're gonna say the colors. We have black, we have mint, we have gray, we have nude, <laughs> we have white. Those are the different colors we're gonna have. Save. Perfect. Um, let's see, what else on the back end I wanna show you guys. So of course, be sure you're gonna actually update this information, the product information, the return and refund policy, the shipping information. You can also add another informational section if you want to. That way it's gonna pop up with the product. If you want to have the product go on sale, you can totally do that too. You can just go here and sale and then either discount or money off, up to you. This product ain't on sale, honey. Um, so you can also create a coupon code, which I think is really nice that they have that ability to do within the store. Uh, makes it really just, again, cohesive is the word <laughs> that I think of. Um, you can also create a, pro a promotional video and have that here as well. You can send an email campaign about this product. You can share the product. You can also edit SEO settings as well. If you wanna add it to a, a collection, you can do that too. So let's say this is the set apart collection. Save. So let's say everything is updated here. We are going to go to save. Oh, oops, we're not gonna do this. There we go. We're gonna go to save. And there we go. There is our product right here. And so we just, we're just gonna keep adding our products into here. Okay, so how you get to your shipping information is you're gonna go over here to store, and then I'm gonna go up here to go to dashboard, and that's gonna open up like my store's dashboard. So you then can see shipping, set up shipping regions, right there, set up regions. Okay. Okay, so number four is you can actually set up sales stack. By step on how to actually set up your store's sales stack, you're actually gonna go to my store again. You're gonna come up here and go to dashboard. Once that opens, I come over here to settings and then I go to store tags. Then here we go. 
and that's how we're gonna do it. So then we're gonna go to add country. We're gonna say United States. Which state? Let's go Texas. Add sales rate, whatever your sales rate is, and then um, however you wanna do it. Then also if I decided to back out of it, if I wanted to go here, I could upgrade to come over here to the Avalara tax tool for it to generate it for me based on um, regions and things like that. Okay, so number five is you want to actually connect a secure payment provider. So what we're gonna do is come back over here to my store and then go to add payment methods right there for ya. Let it load. You can um, do credit, debit cards with Wix, PayPal, manual payments, etc. Number six is to choose a Wix business or e-commerce plan. So if we see on the page, we currently we're just on with Wix payments. Um, there are three different options for where you can actually go and upgrade your online store. So option one is up here. Here's number two and here's number three. Of course, there are various different places um, within here as well. Even if I was to exit out of here and I just go up here to upgrade, that is something that um, I could do from there. So that's something you will need to do in order to really start up and going with your online store to actually be able to sell. Okay, so step number seven is you actually want to get a branded domain. Okay, so we are in the back and we are on the dashboard section. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to actually get your branded domain for your website. So literally there's a pop-up right down here as well as there was one somewhere else, but just for the sake of it right now, let's go ahead and click connect. Okay, so something also to mention is that actually a custom domain is included in every annual Wix business or e-commerce premium plan. So we're gonna go through and we're going to buy a new domain name that matches our business. <laughs> um, so let me see, you guys know my website is Andrea, Denise, my domain is andreadenise.com, but this is like me walking you through how to do this. So we're gonna, of course, choose a different one because I already own that one. Let's see what we wanna do. <laughs> okay so then step number eight is to then actually make your store mobile friendly okay so next thing you're gonna want to make sure your site looks good on your mobile phone majority of people now are browsing on their mobile phones so just be sure you're actually reviewing it making sure it looks good um it looks really how you want it to look overall on mobile so all I'm doing here is I'm just simply dragging and dropping. So clicking down and dragging it to make it look how I want it to look on mobile. So you can see I'm just adjusting it. My um, bar was down on the bottom. My box was down on the bottom. And so I'm grabbing that, putting that back behind that main text that we had um, within the website version or within the desktop version. Um, and just making it look how I want it to look on mobile. Okay, so step number nine is to actually publish your store, okay? You've done all this work, you've completed all the steps above, you are good to go, okay? You have a cohesive overall brand, your website, and your online store, and you are ready to go. Let's do it. So I'm gonna come through the site one more time before officially making it public. I'm gonna go through the actual preview to see what it looks like you know, real time, but not officially published. So we have the about section. Yes, we have FAQs, perfect. We have a contact, I love it. <laughs> then we have the shop section um, or the main page right here. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. So I think we are ready to publish. <laughs> I think we are ready to publish. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit literally publish. And we're good, done. So even though you may be new to business, you don't have to look like it. And that's why I wanted to partner with Wix for this video. Um, the fact that you can have a customizable, professional, efficient website, but then also have an online store within your website is just overall amazing in my opinion. So definitely check them out again. You don't have to look new even though you're new, okay? Even if you are within your business and you have been in, been in business for a while and you just want to revamp, Wix is also a really good um, solution for you to check out. So I'll put everything you need in the description box your link will be down below in the description box for you all to check out and yes yeah, so if you have any questions let me know comment them down below in the comment section also let me know what was your most valuable part what system did you like what part did you like what things do you want to implement within your within your business or within your store etc and yes yeah, so anyway you guys 
I love you to the moon and back. Be sure you comment down below if you have not subscribed. Come join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.